Hey guys, Wordy Nerd here, back with another video. Now I know what you're gonna say, Wordy Nerd, you've already done this video before. Yes I have, but this is an improvement, and let me show you why. Improvement number one, it actually fits in base. In the last video, I had someone tell me, is it lo too long to fit in base? And guess what, it was. So I found a way to shorten it, and now it completely fits inside base. is as you saw in the run, it drops off automatically when it gets to about this point or so. That allows the robot to complete the rest of the one run without the hindrance from this extremely bar long bar. That is because we were able to use just two axles to attach it to the robot by placing it in like so. And it's super loose and it comes out very easily. The only reason we were able to do this is because we put two of these ball and caster pieces in the back. And also, I said these were the best caster wheels, but they're also great weights for your FLO robot, so I highly recommend them. Because they're just about the only metal thing you can put on your robot to add a lot of weight besides colors, besides sensors and motors. Thank you guys for watching this week's video. I know it was a short one, but I thought I wanted to post my improvement because with the last one, you couldn't really integrate it and do an FLO robot, but this one, you definitely can. Takeaways from this video, for the axles, you should definitely use axles inside a pin because they automatically drop off, so you don't have this long bar hindering your robot for the rest of the run. Get these for your weights, and they're super useful in the back. If you don't have these, you can use tires and other stuff in the back to make sure this bar doesn't weigh down the robot because otherwise it'll be tilted like this and it won't be able to automatically drop off. You want it to be as parallel as possible. Other than that, thank you guys for watching this week's video. Again, shout out to Rebel Robotics for telling me the mission model was built wrong. That will definitely help our team at competition. And thank you guys so much for watching. We just hit 270 subscribers and at the beginning of the season, I wasn't even at 100. Such a big shout out to all the people who support me. And guys, I want to be here for you guys. If there's any ideas you have for videos or anything you want to see, just leave it in the comments box down below. Thank you guys for watching this week's video. And this was the Wordy Nerd 48 channel. Signing off for now.